subscribe to mind body soul and click on the bell icon for more updates do you ever wonder how perfect your life would have been if only circumstances were different hi i'm shubha and today i'm going to share with you three steps by which you can shift from being a victim of your circumstances to being a victor of your life and at this end of this video i'm going to share with you a real life story that will inspire you no end many of us have to deal with difficult people and situations every day and it does seem unfair but the truth is that your destiny can only be shaped by you no matter what your circumstances are let me explain if i tell you that i can't succeed in my career no matter how much i try why because i have a bad boss i have colleagues who don't cooperate i have subordinates who are incompetent i have clients who are relentlessly demanding and i have a family who doesn't support me while all this may be true what have i just done i have given away power to these five sets of people to rule my life and who am i i am just a helpless victim so the first step to stop being a victim is to take back the power that i have given all these different sets of people and how do i do that well you can stop being a victim by making a heroic effort to stop blaming others no matter what they do to you by stopping to blame others you actually take away the control button from their hands and take charge of your life step number 2 accept reality as it is it may be far from ideal but nevertheless it is the truth at this moment of time if we only think constantly that if things were different we will only be adding internal resistance to ourselves acceptance is a prerequisite of any change to happen step number 3 Now that you have stopped blaming others and accepted the situation, allow yourself to envision your best possible life and your most amazing self. Visualize you living this optimum life and then ask yourself, what is the one thing that you can do right now that will take you a step closer to this amazing life? Take the small steps every day no matter how small they are because this will generate the momentum that will carry you forward if you practice these three steps dedicatedly every day you will see that in no time you have torn the shackles that bind you to being a victim let me share with you the story of sindhu tai sapkal sindhu tai was born in a poor family in rural maharashtra When Sindhu Tai was just 10 years old, she was married off to a man much older than her. When she was 19 and carrying her third child in her womb, she was brutally kicked by her husband and left to die amidst a herd of wild buffaloes. A compassionate cow took pity on her and stood over her, sheltering her while she gave birth to a baby girl. Sindhu Tai was so overwhelmed with gratitude towards the cow that had given her shelter that she vowed that she too will give shelter to many who are homeless with a small baby she was abandoned even by her own biological family but nevertheless she started caring for homeless orphans everywhere today sindhu tai runs an orphanage where she has 1500 children who are all orphans raised by her and she has many grandchildren sindhu tai is a recipient of various national and international awards including an award by the president of india friends the easy option is to give up to remain a victim and remain helpless and blaming others and the initial steps are always the most difficult but once that's over the rest of it becomes easier please don't let your circumstances stop you from whom you are meant to be
let's connect soon again on soul talks with shubha where we continue this inspiring journey together